Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of settings to change on your Samsung smartphone right now so it is, in fact, configured to your needs and customized to run efficiently. So let's dive in and get started. Now, the very first thing that I want to talk about has to do with the brightness slider. So when you pull down the notifications panel, uh, you can actually set this brightness slider to be on top instead of having to swipe it down a second time to quickly access it. So what you want to do for that is you want to tap on the three dots right over here, all right, and you want to go into the quick panel layout. Once you're in here, you want to enable show brightness on top. Now, when you don't have this one enabled, all right, let's click done over here. When I pull this down for the very first time, the brightness slider does not show up here for a quick slide. But when I go in here and I go to quick panel layout, I can enable that. So when I do pull it down, it's available immediately right on the top. And of course, you can always tap on this little arrow to enable adaptive brightness if you so desire. Now, the next thing you want to do, which is turn on by default, again, you want to pull down the notifications panel. You want to tap on the three dots. You want to go into the status bar, okay? And you want to make sure show battery percentage is enabled so you can see the battery percentage meter right over here, the percentage. So when I disable this, which is the default, you're not going to see what your battery level is at a glance, but when you have this enabled, boom, shows up right there. Let's move on. Now you want to make sure that your phone runs at optimum condition at all times. So what I like to do is I like to pinch the screen, go into my widgets, all right? And then over here we have a device care screen. You have two options. You can have a small button or a larger button with some details in it. So I like to grab this one right over here and let's just say put it right over here, okay? And you can choose from a black or a white theme. And once you're ready, you just tap on back over here. It's going to show up right there. Now, you can also resize this so it fills the entire screen, all right? Just press and hold to resize it if you have to, just like that. I like it this way. Now, it tells you a couple of things that you need to know about your phone, your storage, your memory, but the magic button is right here. You tap on optimize and your phone actually gets optimized. It just freed up some memory and all that good stuff. Now, here's what happens. When you go to the settings, when you go into your device care, that's the same button that's right over here. When you tap this button, when it's available, it optimizes your phone. So you can have the same thing right over here and perhaps once or twice a day, just boom, tap on it and it's going to optimize your phone so it runs at optimum performance. So that's fantastic. Let's move on. Now, another really cool thing has to do with your wallpaper. So you want to pinch the screen. You want to go into your wallpaper, all right? When you're in the wallpaper, I want you guys to go to wallpaper services. And from here, normally it's selected to none, but I want to, I want to go with the dynamic lock screen. Now, when you tap on this one and you tap on the settings, what you can do is you can select a category of five dynamic lock screen wallpapers. You can go for landscapes. You can go for life. You can go for food, art, and pets. Now, if I were to select landscapes, here's what happens. Every single time that I go into my lock screen, all right, let's just go to lock screen, you're going to see a brand new landscape wallpaper, and they're all extremely gorgeous. So when I turn this off, turn it back on, you'll see a brand new one, and you can swipe through them to see what else is available, as you can see. These are some beautiful landscape wallpapers. On the top, you have a menu right over here. You can even change the categories or hide the image right from here. Now, let me go back inside. I'm going to show you one more thing that's important in relation to the uh, dynamic wallpapers. So when I go to my wallpaper services, if I tap on this again, I want you guys to take a look at this. With the dynamic wallpapers, every two weeks, you get a, a new update to your images. So you'll see a wallpaper that you have not seen before after two weeks if you stick with the dynamic lock screen wallpapers. All right, let's move on. And of course, we use our uh, phone application all the time. Obviously, it's a smartphone, uh, but you do make calls a lot. So what you want to do is you want to go to your phone, all right? You want to go into the actual settings, and from here, you have the option to answering and ending calls using physical keys. For example, if I was in a call, I can enable this setting, the side key, Press side key to end the call. So somebody calls me, I'm done with the call, I want to hang up, I can just press the power button, the side key, and it's going to end that call. And if somebody calls me, instead of swiping on the screen, I can press the, the volume up button to take the actual call. So I have physical keys 
to answer and end calls, all right? So that's absolutely fantastic. Now, one more thing I like to do is when I swipe down the screen, I like the notifications panel to come down with it, all right? Uh, by default, this might be turned off, so you have to actually go all the way up to pull it down. Now, if I'm holding the phone with one hand, I just wanna swipe on the screen to bring down the panel, and I can swipe it again to see everything else, the quick toggles. Now, if you pinch the screen and go to the home screen settings, what you can do is you can tap this button here. It says swipe down for notification panel. If you do not have this enabled, and if you swipe down, it goes to the app drawer. But you also go to the app drawer like this, so it's redundant. So I like to pinch, tap on home screen settings, tap on this one, and then I can swipe anywhere from the screen, from any screen as you can see. One more thing I want you guys to realize is uh, there's a hole punch cutout on the top here. You can actually hide this if you don't like it. So what you can do is you can go to your settings, you can go into your display, and you want to scroll down to where it says full screen um, apps, which is going to be right here. You tap on it, and then you tap on this button right over here, go into advanced settings, and you can say hide camera cutout. Now, as you can see, it is gone. You get a black bar on the top, and anywhere you go on the phone, it's going to look, look just like this. If I go back into my settings, take a look at that. The black bar is there the whole cutout has gone, so now you have a full screen right in front of you, if that's what you want, but you do lose some real uh, estate right over here for the screen, okay? Again, go to settings, display, you go to full screen applications, tap on this, boom, boom, go inside, and then hide the camera cutout. If you disable it, it's right there. And of course, one more very important thing to do on your Samsung smartphone is to go into your settings, go to display, and then go over to the screen resolution and make sure it is at full high definition plus. You don't want the resolution to be too low. It's, gonna, it's not gonna look nice. And you don't want it to be too high. It's gonna look super crisp, but it's gonna eat more battery life. Now, when you choose the middle ground, it is still extremely crisp and clear. Also, it saves you battery life. Talking about battery life and also eye strain, uh, you want to make sure you go to the settings, you go to your display, you go into the dark mode settings, and make sure you turn this on as scheduled. So you turn this on, and you can say sunset to sunrise. Make sure the dark mode gets enabled when it's sunset, and it gets disabled when it's sunrise. So in sunrise, it's going to look like this across the board, as you can see. But when you have it like this, it's going to be like this, as you can see. At nighttime, this is great. It's going to be easy on the eyes. You can even do a custom schedule if you so desire. Now, one more thing I like to do with my phone application is when I launch the phone application, I want it to go straight to the actual keypad. Now, if you don't set it up that way, what happens is, let's say I'm in contacts and I exit the phone application. When I tap it, it goes back into the contacts, but I want it to go back into the keypad every time I launch the phone application. So what I like to do is I like to go to keypad, tap on that button and say open to keypad, all right? So what happens is if I'm in this location and if I exit the phone application, when I go back in, it goes right back into the actual keypad. If you don't like it, you can always tap on this one and say open to last view. So if you are here and you exit and you go back, it goes to the last viewed screen, all right? And the final thing I wanna talk about in this video has to do with your quick toggles. So if you don't know, you can rearrange all these quick toggles. Make sure to arrange them in the order that is convenient for you. So if I tap this button here, I can tap on button order. And then let's say I wanna use, I use this toggle all the time. Let's just say an example. I grab this and I put it to the top. Now when I click done, that toggle is right here. I have all the toggles I use all the time as close to the first screen as possible. If you swipe over, you have even more screens. And the final thing, once you have it all set up the way you like it, other things you can do here is, you can always tap on the text portion of these quick toggles to go into the specific settings. For example, I can turn on the flashlight from here and adjust the brightness right from here. You can't see it, it's in the back, but it's actually turned on right over here. All right, I can turn it off, click done. Now that's the funny thing, you can actually tap on these uh, text to go into the actual setting of all these quick toggles. Tap on the text, and if you wanna go into the full details, you tap on details, you're right there, all right? 
And one more thing, if you press and hold, it also takes you into the full menu. All right, so that was the last thing I want you guys to configure. I'll be making some more videos like this with additional settings to configure. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.